Hi, this is Duck After Dark, here to bring you some entertainment today. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Duck After Dark. We're going to take you on a strange journey through time and space and everything else. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Just wait and see, though. It's going to be fun. I'm wagging my fingers, and I don't know why. There's two. Peace! You know that ancient scratch cat's fever will get you every time. And he'll suck your brain out through your nostrils. And, oh, it's not a pretty sight at all. Not a pretty sight at all. So if you, you want to stop having your brain sucked through your nose, then you have to stop getting that cat scratch fever. You know what I mean, Uncle Ted. Hey there, little buddy. We've got to go take out them bad guys. Remember, they always wear masks. Uh-oh, I think we're wearing a mask, too. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Oh, I think we are. <laughs> oh, zoinks. This is Duck Adventures, and I'm going to show you what I got on my latest adventure on eBay. Yes? eBay is adventuresome. You can go through millions of products before you come across the one that you really are looking for. And I will show you in just a second what I was looking for. But let me tell you, it took me hours upon hours. And it took me two shipments of this mug to get it. The first mug, it didn't make it or through the United States Postal Service. It just didn't work. It got all crushed in the little bits. I tell you what, I was not a happy camper. But the second time around with the same person, he actually bought it for me, which was really nice of him. He got me this cool mug, which... You can see right now. Fu Manchu Tiki Mug. Oh yeah. It is something to behold. Does it look like me? No, not really. <laughs> but, I've always wanted a Fu Manchu Tiki Mug. And now I have one. Yes, I have one. Now I just need to put a drink in it. Not sure which cocktail I should put in there. If you have any comments of which cocktail I should use in the Fu Manchu Tiki Mug, let me know. And then I'll make it in the next episode. Please, let me know. Thank you. I tell you I'm ready for ship to shore transmission, Captain. I wonder if we can take this vessel any further. I don't know. But why are we talking in pirate talk? Arr, I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. <laughs> you know what? This one time when we were at band camp, we had this dude who could play the tuba like nothing else. Ooh, I bet you think you, I was going to say something else, don't you? Oh my god. I can talk like Mr. Magoo. <laughs> oh my goodness. We need to go to another trail. <laughs> oh. This was brought to you by letters M P. In R and um Eskimo, uh, um, I forget how it goes. 
Ma never taught us on the farm. We got up to Eskimo. Now, I don't even know what an Eskimo is. Uh, I think it's a furry little creature that goes iggy, 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 zoom. I don't know, that's just my thoughts on an Eskimo. If you know what an Eskimo sounds like, or looks like, let us know. <laughs> Welcome to What is the Duck Drinking? Duck really doesn't know what else to drink. He's pretty drunk already. He is drinking a Mike's Harder grape. Purple grape. We got to say it right. We don't want to get him in any trouble. <laughs> I don't know why they got to put in the purple grape. But maybe we should do a shot. What do you think we should do for a shot? Huh? Let us know. Write down in the comments for the next episode. I have like 48 bottles of alcohol. And if I don't have it, maybe I can buy it new. Let us know what you think the duck should make as a shot and drink it. Yes, no matter what you come up with, he will have to drink it on air. We could do it live maybe someday if we get enough, you know, people on air. But as for now, we'll just do it on here. Or something like that. I don't know why I'm still talking. Shut this shit off! But in the meantime, we're gonna do a shot anyhow. Hmm. Let's, let's think of what we got back here in the bar. Hmm. Hmm. We got all kinds of stuff. But I'm thinking of Mr. Beam. Jim Beam, to be a matter of fact. I think we should do a shot of Jim Beam. What do you think? Oh, I don't care what you think, so I'm going to do it anyhow. Ha ha! Now, seriously, I care what you think, but we're going to do it anyhow. <laughs> you write down in your comments below what we should do next time. We now have a shot of Jim Beam. For the record... Yes, it took too long to pour it, so we cut it out. It's maybe in the extras. I don't know. We'll see. But anyhow, Frost. Mmm. Now that's some tasty stuff. It kind of tickles your tonsils on the way down. Warms up the throat. Mmm, <laughs> good. I gave it a five stars. What do you think? Does it deserve a five star from the duck? Let us know.